Hey guys, what's up? Hang on a second. Turn it down. But... Okay, so hey, it's a uh, it's invasion stripe night. That's what it is. I'm just gonna shut this off while I'm while I'm monologuing. Am I monologuing? I guess I'm monologuing. Um, okay, so I've done a little research and. Um, if you know the standard spiel about Invasion Stripes, it is that bombers got 24-inch stripes. Basically, medium bombers got 24-inch stripes. Fighters got 18-inch stripes. Um, but what I, from what I've been looking at, it looks like the V-26 had 24-inch stripes on the fuselage, but 18-inch stripes on the wings. Um, so what I'm going to do is I got to cut uh, cut some tape to mask the stripes off, and uh, I don't know. Some of you may have seen my old um, invasion stripe video I did with the P47. I'm going to do basically the same thing, but uh, hopefully this this video will be better. Anyway, um, so um, we'll take. And my thinking. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, cut some half inch wide masking tape strips, and I'm going to have to cut some three eighths inch wide masking tape strips. Um, reason being, we're working 48 scale and four and 24 inches and 48 scale is a half an inch, and 18 inches is three eighths of an inch, right? Because 12 inches would be a quarter of an inch. So if you're between a quarter and a half, you get three eighths, right? Makes sense. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now, um, and uh, I'll try and uh, and film that here. So that you can see what I'm doing. I mean, it's not it's not rocket science. I mean, I've got uh, I got a set of calipers there. I've got uh, various types of tape. I might prefer the Tamiya tape. I'll use this if I have to. I'll probably use this for the edges. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna hope hope that we have enough light here. I can't obviously can't have the light down on the mirror um, because it's it'll be in your face, right? So um, you gotta use a mirror. Well, you don't have to use a mirror, but it makes your life easier. Um, but you need you need a piece of glass so that you can get a nice sharp edge. Um, so I'm gonna put my tape down. And I am going to grab a straight edge. Put the tape down. And I am just going to... So I've got my caliper set at a half an inch. I'm going to use this tape for the half inch for the fuselage stripes. Now, and... and um, this doesn't have to be perfect, so you know, get it close. You'll be all right. Now, what I would say, or what I will say, is that you want. If you were doing like a panel line or something or like a masking a car body or something you would want to cut this edge first and make sure it's nice and straight before doing this because you want a nice straight egg, straight um, clean edge right um, of course you do, but we're not 
and that worried about it because these are invasion stripes. Um, and that noisy person in the background is my kid. Um, so I'll probably have to voice this over, but whatever. So I'm going to cut this line. Come in over here. Line it up. Cut it again. You can feel it when you get to the other side when it gives. And we'll take this. And this is our scrap, but we'll just move it over here. Because I can actually use that to mark the edges. Okay. And that's it. So you have a half inch wide piece of tape here now. Um, so that's good. And that may be all that we need because if I paint the the black on first then all I have to do is mask two stripes and then I can paint the white in so there's that um, so now we're gonna take some of this and that's the end of the reel right there all right. So I'm going to have to get creative, but that's okay. Um, but all we really need here is about three inch pieces. So I'm going to cut three inch pieces right now first before we do anything else. cut some three-eighths some three-eighths cuts all right so we'll take I guess I need a new battery so three-eighths is what can you do the math can you do the math can you do the math so an eighth is one is 0.125, right? What's three times that? 3.75, right? So let's see, three point it doesn't have to be exact, but I'm anal. Three point Three point seven six. That'll work. Seven five five. And who knows how accurate this cheapy caliper is, but it's it's good enough for what we're doing here. I'm not at work measuring, you know, things down to thousands, so I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, okay. So here we go. So I'll put this here. Put a mark. Put a mark, put a mark, put a mark, line it up, line it up. 
you get the idea, right? I mean, this isn't rocket science. We're just cutting tape. We'll move this over here to the scrap pile. Do the same over here. You don't need to worry about moving this stuff all over the place because the less sticky the better. Okay. Bring these down here. This is to me a tape. Um, you don't have to use this, obviously, but it works really good for this. Amongst other things, right? Um, okay. 375, 375, 375, we probably don't even need this many pieces of this, but we'll do it. Okay, so there are three eighths inch stripes. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to come over here and figure out where our lines are. But before we do that, I'm going to Shut the camera off, move the mirror, and turn all the lights back on, okay? Hang on. And, um, fuselage stripes. Two and a half inches. No, they're a half inch a piece. There's five of them, so they're two and a half inches. So that's where I got my tape on here, if you're wondering what that piece of tape was for. And they seem to line up right with the lower gun things, pretty much with this with this line right here that um, this panel line so that's pretty simple um, so that's what we'll do is we'll start there and we'll move back so um, there's a couple of ways to start it and and we'll do that in a second here as far as out here on the the wings we've got three eighths uh, times five is uh, inch and seven eighths. Is that right? Three eighths times five is fifteen eighths. Yeah, inch and seven eighths. Okay. So, and that seems to start right about even with the aileron. So that'll put us about somewhere like that, you know, between this gas cap and the, and the aileron. Um, so let's get to it. And where shall I start? Should I start on the wings or should I start on the fuse? I think I'll start on the fuse. Hmm. All right. Now this is the Tamiya Fine Line tape, which is 
really thin and works really well. And the reason I'm, I'm going to use that here on the fuselage here because of the, all the compound curves and stuff on here, this is really the best the best thing to use here to, tr to try and get a straight line on here. Um, we'll obviously have to backfill it, but it'll get us in the right neighborhood. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that doesn't mean you get to be sloppy, right? I know a lot of people take this whole invasion stripe thing to the point of, oh, I can just be a sloppy painter and do what I want, ever I want, I'd, whatever, how, put it wherever I want it. And, and you're right, you can, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's not my camp. I don't, uh, if you've ever seen any of my posts about Invasion stripes, you know that I'm not part of the, uh, um, oh, they painted with a mop so I can paint it with my tongue crew. That's, I'm not that, I'm not that person. <laughs> so if you are that person, you obviously do what you want. Um, but you, uh, probably won't like me very much and that's okay. All right, so I'm just going to take right now and I'm going to put a little pencil mark right there. And I use my silver Prismacolor pencil so that, you know, I can always pretend it's a, um, a, uh, I'm going to cut this off. All right, can I do this? I'll cut my finger off. This basically runs right along the edge of those lower gun ports. And that's exactly where it would run. <sighs> it's really cramped here, even though I got all the space because I got these lights and stuff. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. There's that. Put that down there. Bingo, there's our outside line for those. I'll come back and fill it later. I'm just laying the just laying the lines down. Okay, out here we decided we're gonna use the aileron line. So that's pretty simple, right? Just do that. Come out here. These are those scrap pieces that I had. That's what I'm using here. And we'll do this one here. And we'll get this to lay down. Um, Okay. And we'll go inch and seven eighths, right? I'm just going to use this because it's probably going to be easier for what I'm trying to do here. So seven eighths would be two inches less 0.125, right? Which would be 1.875. And where are we at there? One point eight seven eight five. Who cares? Close enough. Right there. So if you see what I'm doing here, I'm just using this tip here to scratch a little shiny mark right there. Um, you won't be able to see it later, so it doesn't matter. 
But so then I can take this and just put that there like that. Do the same thing over here. I don't even know if you can see those scratches, but I can. Uh, okay, so that one goes there. That one goes there. Again, if they're not perfectly straight, don't worry about it. Um, you want them as straight as you can make them. Um, but because of the scale involved, if you make them... If they're not if if they're like really crooked it's gonna be really obvious so don't do that you know don't fall into that idea of uh, it doesn't matter they're just you know just it can be sloppy don't worry about it because it it, it, it can but it can't be that sloppy um, and I'm just going to go here on this side. Go in here like that. And there happens to be a panel line here on the bottom. Make those, make those, make the ends together. Bend it back and forth. Good to go. Okay. Uh, where's my scalpel? There it is. I need to cut this other piece into this other thing into some pieces here. What we say? Three inches? Yeah. Okay. I ran out of the wider ones, so now I gotta use this one. <coughs> That's okay. So all I'm gonna do. I'm just lining them up as best I can with with the ones I already have at the top. And just cinch it down there just like that. I'm going to come back and burnish all this stuff down. So yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, let's see here. We can get the next one in here. that far oh man this top one is way off I mean not even close to being in the right spot okay that's better and so is that okay and this one is horrible too I don't know what I did when I was making my little shiny marks so that I could line the tape up, but whatever it was, it wasn't even close. Okay, there's that one. And then we'll take this. And we'll go like this. This way, bring this one over this way. <sighs> Burnish them down with our fingers. <sighs> Do the same here. Let's 
same up here. And one thing you're going to want to do when you're burnishing these down is you're going to want to make sure that you get in get into these areas right here. I mean, you're going to weather them later, but <clears throat> it's good if you don't have paint running around in there. Okay. Now we'll take some of this stuff. This wider Tamiya tape. Go around here in the back. Just so we got a nice, nice area covered here. Okay. So there's that. We got this here. Okay. Where's the end? There it is. So then, that's it. We're ready for our white. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, is that really enough tape? Is that going to cover? I mean, do we have to worry about overspray? Maybe. Um, I don't know. You know, this stuff is, is high, pretty high pressure, but... It does seem to seem to stay where you put it. Um, I could use some blue tape. I'm not really, you know, I use the stuff, but I'm not really a big fan of putting it on paint. Uh, I got some white masking tape. I usually keep a whole mess of post-it notes uh, because they're great for this kind of stuff. But I think uh, my kids must have needed them for school. <laughs> because they're not here. Um, so, yeah. Um, but that's okay. Um, because, you know, there's other things we can do. It's, it's not really a problem. So I'm going to get some uh, paint ready to go, and I'll be back. Okay, so um, I decided to start with the black. So that may seem counterintuitive, and it probably is. But um, I did it for two reasons. One, I'm interested in seeing if the white, how well the white will cover the black. And I'm also um, 
it's going to allow me to see how far the the overspray pattern is um, before I do the white. But uh, so I'm just guesstimating here on my half inch wide stripes. You know, you obviously want to want to guesstimate on the large side, so that you uh, you got plenty of coverage, or you got plenty to cover up, or you know what I mean, right? <laughs> and you're probably not getting to see this very well because this is really kind of awkward working in here like this right now. Whoa, blasted at that time. Wow, there's a huge fingerprint. Okay, that's that. Now we'll go over here. See where we're at here. So what do I want? I want three eighths, right? That's what I said, I want three eighths. So I'm gonna go about there from these caps. And then we'll go to about there. So this worst first one is gonna be right in here. Whoa! Wow, well that'll be interesting to see what happens there. And then the other side. Man, at this point, I might as well have just painted the whole section black, huh? <laughs> That's all right. We'll deal with it when the time comes. Do the same thing over here. is going as well for me tonight as it was last night. <laughs> That's okay. You gotta make sure and do your leading your leading edges where they wrap. You gotta make sure and do that or it'll look weird. Okay. Okay, there's our black. Well, uh, that's probably going to be it for tonight. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do the white tonight. We'll see. Here we are. As you can see, it's flashing off. I'm uh, 
but I'm not going to risk masking it. I'm going to let it sit until tomorrow. And I'll mask the stripes tomorrow, the black stripes, and then we'll, we'll finish it off, right? So um, I hope that kind of made sense somewhat, some of it. I'll try and edit it out and make it, uh, you know, so it's not a whole, a whole bunch of, what am I thinking? My brain is gone. Yeah, so I will deal with uh, when we do the white and... Um, yeah, I'm probably going to edit this whole section out because I'm not making any sense. <laughs> but, okay. Hey, guys. Okay. Um, day two, the, the black's obviously dry. As you can see, I already did one side. Um, because I forgot to turn the camera on before I did that side. So, anyway, what uh, I'm going to do here is I am going to show you how to lay out the stripes um, so here's the bottom line the bottom line is, is we need to space our cells out we need to mask the two black stripes so the outer ones are white yeah I'm reusing the tape I just used so I'm gonna put that in there as a spacer and then I come in here with another piece and just lay it right next to it and then I pull this one up and I lay this one here and then I lay another one right next to that and if you remember from uh, when we did the black which was just yesterday but um, I, I cut these to the width of the stripes so if I line five of these up next to each other it'll be the width of uh, it'll be basically this width here um, so now that I got them there run them down this one's sitting on a uh, fairing there so I gotta kind of come in here with the knife tip and do that okay flip it over come in here with the tape line it up I just have to line it up with the other side, right? Because it, that side's already uh, in the right spot. So I don't need to actually do anything but line the top one up with the bottom one, which sounds really easy. And it probably would be if I wasn't on camera. No, actually, it's the leading edges tend to be a pain and there and I got a little bit of curve in that one but it's an invasion stripe so who cares right well we'll talk about that here in a minute that one's too short um, so here's the thing about invasion stripes being the right width and crooked and all that stuff, okay? Um, and I know there's a lot of people that disagree with me on this. But, it's okay. You can't... Um, get that down you can't uh, because of scale 
it's glass it wipes off don't worry <laughs> because of scale you cannot um, expect that um, you can't just go crazy with how crooked these things are and stuff you can't you know oh they painted them with a brush so I'm gonna paint them with a brush and you can paint them with a brush but you're still gonna need to mask it um, you know sloppy first of all if you can paint white with a brush somebody should give you a sandwich <laughs> Because that's rough. Painting white with a brush is rough. Um, but anyway. Um, so what I'm my point is is that you can't The argument that they did it super sloppy is kind of a, not kind of, it's just a false, it's not that they didn't do them sloppy. They did them sloppy, okay? Oh no, look what I did over here. Are you kidding me? Wow. You see that? I just splattered white all over um, part of doing the black first on this was to make to see how well this white covers over the black and it seems to be doing fine um, but as you might be able to see I seem to be having my problems manifest with the white here too. Okay, so I, I, I'll deal with this later. Um, not insurmountable. Once we get all the, the colors on here, I'm going to go through and I'll show you how I deal with overspray and, and all that stuff. There's, there's various ways to deal with overspray, and, well, some are um, very simple. Some are not, but some are. here do not leave the tape on longer than you have to and with this stuff it's been on long enough you can put you can always almost always pull masking off immediately um, you know if you've got if you're afraid to pull the masking because of running or something then your your paints wait way too thick and way too uh, way too thin um, so yeah don't worry about that just Pull them off. I get it. 
get a grip on it here. Come on. Too close, my death perception is not that great. Ugh, okay. I don't have to use this again, so I don't care. Because if we remember from yesterday, the body stripes are longer or wider than the wing stripes. Remember that? For some reason, who knows why. And there we go. And we got some flubs there, and that's okay. A little bit of overspray right there. Um, and I'm gonna take care of that right now. I used enamel, the olive drab is enamel. The Steinol Res is acrylic. So guess what? I come in here with some rubbing alcohol. And just rub that stuff right out of here. For the most part. Okay. That's pretty much it. They're not perfect, but like I said, we'll fix them later. Um, I'm going to mask off the fuselage one and get that one done, but there's no point in doing that on camera. Um, so I'm going to shut this thing off right now and... Uh, I'll be back. Okay, well there we are. Um, they look good from here, don't they? <laughs> but uh, dummy me wasn't paying attention when he pulled the tape off and ripped the just about ripped both the guns out of the turret. So uh, something else I got to fix. Um, you see where the the overspray is from where I had the tape there and there's some there and these are you know not exactly uh straight and, and there's some there's some issues here and you know and here's the thing with the white that white style was i need i think i just need to practice a lot with that white and figure out how to make it work come on focus 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 um so that, uh, the only other thing that is remaining is I need to do the yellow stripe on the rudder. Um, and I think I'll do that right now before I clean up. And then, uh, you know, and then it's just a matter of finishing her up. She's going to be... She's going to be a three-footer, but she'll be all right. So, um, I think that's going to be it for this video. No point in showing you the stripe. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's call it quits there. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, take care of the people you love. We'll see you next time. Bye.